Well, welcome back. I am talking with David McCormick this morning. He is the former CEO of Bridgewater Associates, and he has put his hat in the ring for the upcoming Senate races. David, you were in the middle of a thought on China, and I want to make sure that we get into it because this is a really important point that you're making. You wrote an entire op-ed this morning on foxbusiness.com telling our viewers and readers it is time to push back on the Chinese Communist Party. This from the former CEO of Bridgewater is an enormous statement because Ray Dalio is the co-founder of that firm, and he is probably the biggest supporter of the Chinese Communist Party. We apologize for the break for the commercial, but please continue your thought. Well, the, the point I was, uh, I was making, two points, really. I think we do need to have a, a substantially tougher set of policies in terms of how we, we're dealing with China to protect the American people, both economically and from a national security perspective. And I was listing some of them, but, but there's two or three that I wanted to highlight. One is, I think we need to decouple in key areas. We can't be dependent on high-end technology. We can't be dependent for pharmaceuticals. I think that's a really critical thing. And I do think that we should have an outbound uh, investment review process of some kind. I think it's unacceptable if U.S. investors or U.S. companies are investing in companies in China that are supporting Chinese military modernization or the repression of the Uyghurs and things like that. And there's an inbound, uh, as you know, Maria, an inbound investment review process called CFIUS. I would be someone who would be advocating some, something along those same lines on the outbound side. And the reason that's so critical, and it ties to my run for the Senate, is that we need people in, in the Senate who understand the national security implications, who understand the economic implications, and who can be tough-minded negotiators with China. And I think my background uh, is, a, is a perfect preparation for those tough days that lie ahead. Well, you may have the background in business to know how to fix the economy, but you're running against a guy who has been on TV sets for the last couple of decades. That's uh, <laughs> Dr. Oz also wants that seat. How are you going to differentiate yourself from Dr. Oz and make sure the GOP chooses you? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to think about it that way. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this because it's a call to service. I've been blessed by this great country. I've had everything uh, any American uh, kid growing up in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania could, could imagine. And I want to pay back. And the reason I want to pay back is I want to make sure others have that opportunity. And so I'm going to go tell my story. I'm going to go tell my story to the people of Pennsylvania. I've got my farm pickup from my family farm that I've owned for 10 years and my folks owned for 45 years. And I'm going to drive county to county and make my case to the, to the people of Pennsylvania. And, and I'm going to tell them. That, um, that I understand and hear these problems. I'm going to ask lots of questions. I'm going to talk, ask more questions than I'm going to talk. And I'm going to uh, describe to them the fact that I am an independent-minded uh, combat vet, business job builder who, uh, who, who has made his own way. I'm self-made. And I can go and fight on their behalf. And I'm going to promote All an right. America First policy agenda because I think President Trump had us on, on the right path. And I, I want to go fight for them. So that's what that's a, the case I'll make. America first is uh, is good news. Resonates with our audience, David. We're going to be watching the race. We so appreciate you. Well, final question: Are you going to push to reverse Joe Biden's overturning the XL pipeline? Energy, obviously, one of the key issues in this race. Before Joe Biden, the U.S. was energy independent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the overall uh, energy policies of the Biden administration have, re have really been disastrous for the country, but particularly for Pennsylvania. We're a huge uh, energy yeah. producer, exporting state. Um, we've done that with, uh, with great success in protecting the environment as well over the last decade, uh, two decades, rather. And so, yes, I, I would push for that, and I would push for that because it's not only good for America, it's good for Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania energy workers. It will also have a big impact on those ridiculous prices at the pump. And and, uh, and that's good yeah. policy for Pennsylvanians. It's good policy for America. All right, David, we'll be watching all of that. Thanks very much for joining us this morning and making it official right. on our program. David McCormick, we will be following Thanks so much. your journey. Thank you so much.